this is Mark Patton at Sofa King Pool. That's awesome. I'm doing great. How are you doing? Good, good. Now, Nightmare on Elm Street 2. One of the amazing films that there was. It was a different take where you actually started becoming Freddy Krueger throughout the film. Yeah, I, I think that when I'd go to sleep, he would come out of my body. That was the difference. It was almost like a possession film, some people thought. Yeah. It was the last take where it was actual horror. After that, it started going more of a, a comedy role. Yeah, I agree. I think the funniest Freddy is in part, uh, <laughs> the scariest Freddy is in part two. I yeah, mean, for the, sure. the makeup. The, the franchise changes as. Actually, as Robert becomes more in control of it, it becomes more like the Freddy Show as time goes along. But I like the first three are my favorite as far as like the old trope. Yeah. Now they may be doing some more reboots. I understand. Yeah. I am. Bill Mosley may be the next. Well, they say you know, and then they they've said a couple of different places at point. Kevin Bacon has talked about doing it, um, but I just think they should. I think Bill would be great, actually. So, but it, the thing with Bill is. If you're going to franchise again, he's just a little bit old. Right. I mean, it's the reason Robert can't do it is because of the physicalness. Yeah. I mean, it's a very physical role. You have to move a lot. So I would think I would. I like Norman. Um, I'm trying to think what this guy's name is. He's in a television short show called Bloodlines on Netflix. He's amazing. Oh, okay. And I sort of chose him as my Freddy when I was watching the show. So they'll do it sooner or later. I hope they do a good job with it, though. Now, for doing such a movie that was so iconic, how was it that fans could come up to you to this day and say, oh my God? That it's weird, you know, it's like I, we were talking earlier, I've, I've traveled the world, literally, I mean, after I go to three countries this summer, and it's just like a trust fund, it's, it, people don't care how old you are, or it's just, you know, it's fun, and it's a, being a part of pop culture history, so I'm, I'm blessed with it, I like it. How do you enjoy the cons, man? It's got to be crazy, all these fans coming up to you. And... Well, there's different ones, we're at a Comic Con now, which is like a little different, you know, the, I'm mostly in the horror shows, and it's, you know, everybody knows who you are and it's it's kind of like a being a deadhead they're like it's family friendly and I you know it's it's been a great life for me so I, I, I appreciate it I find you know free food <laughs> money you can't beat it right for sure now I understand you did a few projects after that is there anything else that you plan on doing more acting or anything like that well I have a documentary coming out this summer uh, called Scream Queen My Nightmare on Elm Street and then um, I have a film that's been on the circuit called Family Possession I'm starting to shoot another one in mid-July. So I do here and there, and I, for me now it's more fun. I do something if I really want to do it. It's right. not a, I wouldn't consider it a profession at this point. It's more just an avocation. And I speak about uh, bullying and uh, quite a bit I'm, uh, for the Trevor Project, so I use this platform to inform the other one, and it works out pretty good. Awesome, awesome. Now, all the traveling and everything you do, I mean, I understand you have to shoes, is that Oh, I'm, well, I'm doing good. No, I'm, I'm actually, I'm like sort of the poster boy for uh, modern medicine, so I'm doing great. Right now, I actually have dengue fever, which tells you how good I'm doing, because I shouldn't have got on a plane and come here from Mexico, but I was like, I, I can't wait to go home. Okay, so I'm ready to go to sleep at this point. You live in Mexico? Yeah, I've lived in, in Mexico for 14 years. Yeah, central Mexico, not like touristy Mexico. I live in, the, in a place called Celaya, Guanajuato, that's where I live. I love it. I just totally love it. Very cool. I see you got some fans going, waiting to meet you. People want to follow up. They want to know more about you. Sure, come and see me at uh, Mark on Instagram at Mark Patton N O E S two or on Facebook Mark Patton. Any Mark Patton, Google my name and you'll find me. Perfect. All right, man. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It was a blast. Have fun. Bye.